Amu? Amu, are you? I reach forwards. Forwards? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Meaning to pat her on the shoulder, offer her a tissue, give her a hug, do something, anything. I don't know. Anything to stop her from crying. But... Don't touch me. Please don't touch me. Amu's voice makes me halt in my tracks, rooting me in to the spot. Even though the distance between us could be crossed by a single footstep, I've never felt so far away from her before. How did this happen? How did I hurt Amu so badly? I thought we were friends. We were childhood friends. I thought our bond would never be broken no matter what. Is this... all my fault? Ah, Chan, I... I really like you, you know. I like you a lot. For such a long time, I don't know how long. I've liked you so much. But... But... A sniff. A shudder. Amu's eyes are rimmed with red. Even though she's trying to hold back her tears, through sheer stubbornness, it isn't working. They pull in her eyes and then spill over, dripping down her cheeks, hot and wet. I like you, but you don't pay any attention to me at all. You don't. You don't even seem to think about my feelings. Maybe you don't even realize I have feelings. Even though I was so happy to see you again. Even though I was excited I couldn't sleep all night the night before you came here, so I ended up reading silly romance manga all night long. Even though I felt like that, you didn't notice it at all. You didn't notice and... <sighs> you spent the whole time with her. Talking to her. Even when we were together. She was the only thing you could focus on. It's always ever only been about her. Amu sniffs, wiping her eyes with the sleeve of her blue sweater. Her eyes are red and puffy. They must be sore. I wonder if wiping them was painful. Maybe that's why she's wincing. I... I don't want to hurt her. I don't want to cause her pain. But... But... I... I can't make myself feel the same way, you know? I, I can't. Make myself love you? Amu sniffs, her head hanging like a broken puppet. I... I know that. I'm not a child. I know I can't get what I want all the time by crying and stamping my feet. But... It... It's so unfair. I... I know. I'm sorry, but... You don't have to be sorry, silly. It isn't your fault. There isn't anything you can do about it. Uh, Amu, I... If you don't like me, you don't like me. That's all there is to it. It's not something you can force. So you don't need to apologize. Not for how you feel. That... That would be stupid. Although I can act quite childish, I'm not that immature, you know. I... I'm aware of that. I wasn't trying to call you immature. <laughs> it's good to know you have some faith in me, even though I was such a pain when I was little. But I've grown up since then. N no, I, I didn't think you were a pain. Every day was a lot of fun. It really was fun. I... I had a good time being with you. So I'm a little sad. I frown, my lower lip wobbling. Why is Amu making it sound so final? We're best friends, right? Even though this is a little awkward, it... Shouldn't ruin our friendship, should it? A Amu... You're making it sound like you won't see me again. Well, I... I do want to see you. Of course I do. 
but. But. That small but, spoken softly, sets me on the edge. Naturally, I start to worry. Even though I always carry tissues with around, around me with, in my pocket, ugh, a habit that started started slow, uh, slowly, so I had something on hand to clean up the various cuts Amu kept getting when she was younger. I don't think they'll do much now. Although I was always trying to hide behind Amu's back as she protected me. In a way, I tried to protect her too. But now, what can I do? I can't see you in the same way again. No matter how hard I try. I can't change how I feel just like how you can't change how you feel. Amu. But, I don't think it's a bad thing. Although this may sound strange, I'm actually glad you told me how you feel straight out. It means I can stop hoping for something impossible. So I can stop trying. I think it's the most difficult thing in the world. Is trying so, so hard to achieve something that will never come true no matter what you do. <laughs> Amu giggles. A small tentative smile curves the corner of her lips upward. Although it isn't as bright as her usual grins, but it seems there's something warm about and gentle about it. Amu, you're all right, right? I'm all right, really. Amu smiles at me, eyes wet, cheeks damp, her body trembling. She looks almost like a young child, lost and confused. Not at all like the strong, confident person I know so well, who always cheered me up when I was sad, who protected me from wild dogs when we went out for walks, who won that cute teddy bear at the local festival with a wide smile on her face. What was the bear's name again? Knowing Ami was something overly literal, something like Ted or Teddy. I used to keep that bear in my room, on a shelf by my bed. It was a dear possession of mine. But, when we moved to the city, I lost it. I don't know where. I can't remember. Amu's right. She's only human. Even though the strongest person can be upset, and can despair, can cry. I wonder how many times she's been sad or scared or lonely and never told me. How many times she's hidden her true feelings behind a wide smile. She is a strong person, even now with her red eyes and wet cheeks. No, that isn't it. She isn't strong despite her sadness. She's stronger now because of it. That and she was able to tell me how she feels, even though it made her cry. She shows how courageous she really is. Although her smile is small, it sparkles like a precious jewel. Amu always shone, and I could only watch her in awe, wishing I could do the same, wishing I could be like her. Maybe that's why I can't bring myself to return her feelings. It's because I look up to her far too much. And so, a wide gulf has opened up between us, formed from my own childhood insecurities. I can never see myself as her equal. I always thought I was inferior. And so I decided that I had no right to love her. Even now, the distance between us feels far too big. Ah, John. Thank you. With a small smile, Amu walks forwards. Uh, uh, and gently, very gently, presses her lips against mine. A goodbye kiss? I really hope Noel didn't see that. I can hear my heart pounding. It feels so loud, so instant, insistent, 
I'm surprised it hadn't burst out in my chest already. Oh, so many feels. <laughs> oh, okay. I... Oh. <clears throat> I... I've never... been kissed before. E even though I don't feel that way about Amu. Even though she's just a friend. Even though I was supposed to be going out with Noel. This is still... my first kiss. I is that... Really okay? Is it? I don't know. I can't think. Slowly, my eyes, eyelids fall shut. Everything goes black. All I can feel is the sensation of Amu's lips against mine. It's soft and gentle and sweet, and it makes me feel lightheaded. Amu. Silently, inside my mind, I say the words I wish I could say out loud, but I don't know how to. I hope, even if she can't hear it, she can still understand. I'm sorry. I did want to hurt you. I never wanted to hurt you. I'm sorry I'm such an idiot. But, even though I don't love you, I would like it if we can still be friends. I always want to be your friend. In a way, maybe it makes sense that this first kiss should be with Amu. So many of my first experiences have been with her, after all. Amu is the first friend I've ever made at school. She's the first friend I've ever had a sleepover with. The first friend I went to a festival with. She's also, embarrassingly enough, the first girl who gave me chocolates on Valentine's Day. Though she told me, very sternly, it was only obligation chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh. <laughs> nice. Even if, even if she mixed one deadly chocolate in there filled with chili powder. Since she was five, Amu has given me chocolate every single Valentine's Day. Though she remains firm in her assertions that it isn't because she likes me. Now I have to wonder, doesn't it make sense that she's the person I should have had my first kiss with too? It feels only natural. After all, she is my childhood friend. She really does mean so much to me. I... I wish I had never hurt her so much. If only I had realized how much pain she was in earlier. Maybe then, I could have made a difference. Maybe this could have been avoided. But there's no sense of thinking, what if? I can't undo the past. Wait a minute, was that it? Okay, yeah. Was that it? Was ending? that an ending? Wow. What? What the fuck? <laughs> I, I, I have so many questions! Are you serious? That was an end? Hmm. Well... I feel like we fucked up somewhere. Something happened. We went straight for Noel, and... Straight for Noel, and... I, I said all the right things. Oh, man. Okay, okay, we're gonna have to reformulate, we're gonna have to backtrack a little bit, because we didn't even meet the... Our friends, like our other friends. No. I think and, we did something wrong. Yeah, we must have fucked up somewhere. Alright, so, uh... Clearly, start... going for Noelle is not the good thing to do, so... No, I want to, though. Like, I think that there's more to this that we're missing. But there was a lot of things that were involving Noelle, and we were going straight for Noelle, thinking that we would get so get far into it, with, but that's where it stopped. I don't know. We're going to have to backtrack a little bit, see what we did wrong. Oh, All right, man. so a uh, short episode, folks. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, we we got a little bit uh, we got a little bit cop blocked there. I don't know where to even where to even fix it. Well, we're gonna have to. I have do no idea. Of, do a little bit of off camera looking and see if we can get a little bit farther than this. I don't want to. I don't want to look at guides or anything. No, I meant like play the game. And see if we can 
change the choices we made and see if it makes a difference. Okay, well, yeah, let's let's try something. Ah, oh, man, I'm so annoyed. I was hoping that, like, <laughs> I was thinking, if this was a stereotypical Otome game, that Noelle would have looked over right at the wrong time and seen them kissing and then run off all upset, and then he would have been like, Ed, I'm sorry. <laughs> But I'm kind of glad it didn't go that way. Didn't do that. Just cut off right there. I'm kind of glad it didn't do that though, because I've seen that done way too much. So, all right. Ah, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Fine. We'll take it up from here, I guess. See you in the next one. Oh, 